and welcome to tax calculator tutorial in C programming language I'm going to start by clicking on create new and I will select console application click on go click on next and let's select C click on next we give that a name I'm just going to call it C underscore tax calculator there we go click on next and right there let's check out the source file double click on main there okay right in here I'm going to get rid of this hello world and the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to create some constant so it's going to be constant and the data type is going to be double and let's give it a name I'm going to call that tax rate and if we have a tax rate we're going to make that about let's say it's 20 0 0.20 there enter semicolon and that would be the very first tax rate let's put one there and I, I will create another one we'll call that the second tax rate and I'm going to make this about 0 0.45 and this one will be 2 ok let's declare two more constant this one is going to be known as tax rate single for unmarried individual and that is going to be let's say they can end up to 35,000 there we go as for married couple let's call that married let's push that up to about 70,000 there we go alright that's fine and I will also declare some other variable so this one is going to be called tax1 that will be equals 0 and tax2 as well will be equals 0 ok let's declare another variable here and I'm going to call that tax2 there and one more variable this one is going to be known as income income is zero so initialize that with zero as well and finally I'm going to create one more variable that will be marital status so that is going to be should be an app here underscore status there all done so the very first thing now is let's ask the user to enter your income please enter your income there and end that with semicolon then I'm going to ask the system to scan and that is going to be double comma and income there we go that is fine so I'm going to ask the user to enter some other value in there so I'm going to say enter S for single and let's use O O M for married there yeah. 
enter semicolon. Scan F taking the value. I'm just going to call that. Grab all of these. And just paste, paste it right here. And this will be changed to marital status. Grab that. Paste that in here. There we go. Alright, that takes care of that. Now, I'm going to then use an if statement to check the marital status. So, let's say if, right underneath here, if the marital status equals equals s. I guess that is lowercase. Right. In that case, I'm going to also use another if statement. So it's going to be a nested if. So if income is less than or equals to single tax rate this one here grab that and paste that in here in that case what's gonna happen is just say tax okay tax one that would be equals tax rate one multiply that by income else so tax one equals tax rates one multiply that by tax rate single grab that and just is that on underneath there there then we're going to repeat the same thing for tax number two copy that paste that underneath there changes to two and this is going to be tax rate two and here that would be multiplied by income minus single tax rate there we go and that should take care of that now supposing we have a married couple here so in that case I'm going to let's copy all of these so we'll copy this up to here and we're going to now use else statement underneath here so let's say else and paste that in there so in this case that is going to be for so for the second condition here is if income is less than and equals to the tax rate married and this one is going to be tax rate married as well changes to married and here as well there we go right so all that is done the next thing we want to now do is to print out as follows so let's say print F new line let's say the tax is let's put the dollar sign percent the new line I will come out here enter comma let's get rid of this for now comma 
and I'm just going to enter the tax one comma tax two comma tax one comma tax two that will be plus tax two okay that should hopefully give us the the result we want okay let's try it out now let's take it up first so that you guys can see the lines of codes so I want to bring it down this is using C programming language there okay I'm going to now run now let's build and run first there we go now please enter income let's assume the income is about 78,000 plus and is it married let's assume they married joint income so they both paying 15,781 seems there's space here let's get rid of that space let's go back in here I think this is it now let's build and run again All right enter something there for let's say it's a single guy boy he's gonna end up paying sixteen thousand seven hundred and sixty nine so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this very nice tutorial of how to calculate tax in C programming language so bye for now and I'll see you guys later